Hi guys, my name is Nachi and welcome to a new video. So today I let you guys and my Instagram followers decide what I'm going to draw. So basically I had the easy thing to do. I just needed to draw and you guys needed to come up with the good ideas. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video and let's jump right into it. I wanted to make sure to draw something for Mermaid before it's over. This is basically my only rule for this whole challenge. Other than that, my followers have chosen everything. First, we needed to figure out which gender I should draw. And a lot of people wanted me to draw a mermaid. As you can see, I started out with a sketch, which was actually not going very well. It took me forever to figure out a proper pose for her to sit in. I'm happy over the outcome, but holy shit, it took forever. After that, we wanted to decide on what mood this artwork would take on. If it should be cute and happy or if it should be dark and scary. And surprisingly, people actually voted for dark and scary. I was really happy about that because I thought they are gonna go for happy and cute and I wanted to do something dark. So I'm happy we got that one. Our character is not wearing clothes because people decided she should not wear clothes, but she would wear accessories. So that is good. At least one of those I got. Uh, I wanted her to wear clothes in the beginning, but well, I didn't get that one, but at least accessories to still cover up some parts. I tried to not draw any kind of fabric or something that could resemble clothes. Instead, I tried to stick to something that looks like wires or maybe just metal and um, jewelry. So after I was done with the sketch, I was like basically thinking, okay, the pose is just really not something you are happy with, but I wanted to just go with it. And I tried to make it through the lines, but I was stressing the whole time that this is just not really working out. People decided for me to put colors on the artwork, which I didn't really know how to do. I wanted dark and scary, but on the other side, I felt like the line art was still too cute. Her whole headpiece looked too cute. She looked still too happy. So I decided to go for a really, really dark skin tone that looks kind of ashy and gray. I thought that was a good choice. I thought the only way I could save this picture by now and not make it look too cute was literally just putting on as many dark colors I could find. That, that was the whole plan of it because when I was done with the lines, I was basically ready to throw this out. I didn't like the outlines. I didn't like the pose. I didn't like the headpiece. I thought her face was too cute and I thought, okay, I'm just not able to do this. Like. I want it dark and scary and now I'm too stupid to pull off dark and scary. So I thought, okay, let's just try to pull through. Let's just try to make this work somehow. Like, you know, breathe, meditate, you, you can do this. Sometimes for some sort of reason, I kind of get a blackout. And then when I come back to myself, it somehow worked. So I hope this would be the case. It actually was the case. Um, I actually liked the outcome of the picture, but Ooh, oh boy, I was scared in between. So scared that this is not gonna work out. I decided, especially for her face, because it was looking way too nice, to make it look a lot more uncomfortable, slightly scary. Didn't give her pupils at all, which I thought added to the effect. Also decided on giving her a very red lipstick and some smudged out eyeliner which I think helped the overall atmosphere of the picture. And God, do we live for smudged out eyeliner. Who doesn't like a queen who has cried? All kills men on the water. For the overall theme of the picture, I wanted it to look like a mermaid who literally could drag men under the sea and just kill them. I tried to go with that atmosphere and make her look scary. Um, at some point, while coloring, all of a sudden I got that blackout and I was just like, okay, we need to make everything dark. Like after I started making her skin grayish, I was like, okay, everything's gonna be gray. Everything's gonna be gray. We're just gonna add a little bit of color. The water's not gonna be blue. Everything's gonna be dark and gritty. I'm gonna add a lot of red. And 
when I come back to my senses, I was like, okay, it worked out somehow. Like nobody knows how, but I did it. I pulled it off. I really like the idea of a mermaid um, killing sailors or maybe pirates, luring them underwater and actually eating them. So that was kind of the whole idea of this. And I think it worked out okay. After I basically had the face down and saw that I could make her look more dark and scary, I was like, I can do this. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. Even though I was very concerned before. <laughs> but that lifeless face gave me life. <laughs> so I took all my motivation and just pumped it into literally <laughs> pulling out as many dark colors as I could. I just wanted to go for all the grays, uh, all the black and dark tones and maybe some dark red because I thought this is gonna work. In the beginning I thought about actually giving her black hair as well but when I later decided though to make the background mm, black and red I thought maybe the black hair would be too much so I actually decided on keeping her hair white-ish with like a little hint of red and gray. As you can see, I'm coloring in the background and also here again. Black, reds, all of that stuff, good stuff. Overall, I think I wasn't very creative with the background, but I wanted the mermaid to be in the focus. And also I didn't ask about the background at all when I was doing my polls on Instagram. So I wanted to mainly focus on what my Instagram follower wanted for the mermaid. And I think she is overall in a very good position. You can see what's going on and the background is not taking away from it. It's just outlining it and, and empathizing the atmosphere. And God, haven't I drawn a mermaid in like forever. I'm so happy that I decided to do one artwork for mermaid. Never done it. Every year I say, I'm gonna do it. And then I forget about it. And then I don't do it. And then the month is over. And in the beginning of June, I'm like, oh yeah, I could draw a mermaid. It's so stupid. So I'm really, really happy that like last minute I pulled it off. I also made a mermaid for mermaid. And I really like how she turned out. You can see me finishing up the background here. Uh, I really like the different uh, colors that went into it and that I went a little bit lighter the further up we went. It was actually a little bit scary using that much red for the water. It was like a little bit of a bold move for me because I normally don't try to use colors like that for <laughs> the background, but okay, it, it went well. And then uh, at the end, we wanted to slow things down a little bit again. And, and I decided for some golden highlights to wrap everything up. I decided to uh, color her little starfish thingy in gold and also color some of her chains around her body in gold. And I think that worked out pretty great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun with this challenge. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up or maybe subscribe to the channel for future art related videos. Also consider checking out my social media. They are all linked in the description below. And I hope I see you guys again for next week's video. Bye bye.